Uh, yeah, it was a great day offensively for us. We, we did some really good things. We were able to move the ball up and down the field. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get any uh, end zone as much as we'd like to have. But no, that's, that's, that's the way it's going to be sometimes. We'll just have to continue to work on that. When the offense moves the ball like it did today, 491 total yards, how much confidence does that give you? Um, it gives us a ton, especially being the first game of the Big Ten next week. We want to we wanted to see where we were at by week four before we went to the Big Ten. I think we're very in a couple of position. Obviously, there's certain things we need to work on, but that's why you know watch film tomorrow and we'll start to practice on Monday. We harped on you know, not letting them run the ball, especially uh, with their new offense. Uh, Similar to Florida's old offense with Tim Tebow, uh, you know, we heard a lot of talk about that. And, you know, Coach Jay and Coach Roof harped on not letting that get loose. And, you know, for the most part, we did pretty good with it. You did a great job getting off the field on third down today. Talk yeah. about the improvement in that area. Um, you know, first game, it was the turnovers, um, having to get off the field and getting, you know, getting those turnovers. And, that, and then it was the, the third down conversions. Um, you know, like I've been saying with the turnovers, nothing but practicing. Uh, you know, we've been practicing third down plays and stuff like that at practice. And, uh, you know, it translates into the game. Talk about how much confidence the defense has. Uh, you're stringing some performances together. Three straight good games heading into Big Ten play. Uh, you know, that's huge for us as a team, not just the defense. Um, heading into Big Ten play, um, you know, it's up for grabs. It's anybody's league right now. Um, nobody has a Big Ten win yet. Uh, hopefully we can start off in the right way. Man, the tradition, man, linebacker you. But, man, like we said, man, it was a whole, it was a whole defensive effort, a whole offensive effort, man. We went out there, man, we executed, and we did what we had to do. Glenn, talk about holding Temple to just 237 yards. What was the biggest key out there for you guys? Uh, you know, we just uh, got to keep coming out with the kind of effort that we do every single week. And uh, we got a bunch of guys that just love to play football and just love the game. And if we just continue to do that, I think we're going to be pretty good. How much confidence does this give you guys heading into Big Ten play now that you've strung together three straight good performances on defense? Yeah, we're definitely on a roll now, so we just got to keep on, uh, keep the snowball effect going and just keep playing good defense. And like I said, just coming out, hustling to the ball, and uh, that's really what, what's working for us right now. I want to give us a lot of confidence. Um, even, even from the first game, I think um, we had a lot of confidence going in, and we started to put it together a little bit more. Um, something that Coach O'Brien told us early on in the season, we got to just keep putting drives together and finishing drives. And like, um, we get the ball in the red zone and stuff like that, we got to capitalize. So I think that's something that we started to do more often, starting to string a lot of plays together, and um, that's the outcome of it. Um, so, so we need to keep getting 500-yard uh, games for the offense and uh, make it easy on our defense. You had five catches for 82 yards and then a long touchdown on fourth down. Talk about that play on fourth down in the first half. We ran a pass play on fourth down. Um, Matt threw a great ball, and I was able to uh, catch the ball and stay up and be able to uh, run it in. So um, I think it was a good call for us on fourth down, and um, and um, our quarterback made a good throw. Coach did a really good job preparing us. We knew the Temple was going to be a really good team, uh, just a big rival. They, they showed a lot of fight. Uh, we, just, we, just, we just wanted to show everybody, especially the secondary, that stop, stop, stop talking so much about the criticism, just, just let us ball. Uh, Really proud, of, especially the backboard, really proud of them guys. A lot of guys stepped up today. Uh, Daquan Davis stepped up today. Stephen O'Bang, uh, Adrian Amos, Malcolm Williams, and myself. It was a collective. It was just it was just a great team win. Uh, like I said, like I said in the weeks before this, and then front seven make everything a lot easier. When you got guys like Jordan Hill, uh, Daquan Jones, Marty, Gerald Hodges up there. It makes things so much easier as far as with our safeties, they don't, they don't got to worry about stopping the run. They can help the, the corners and the pass. So just getting on the field in third downs today, too, was, was a big key. So I'm just really, really, really excited to keep this streak going against Temple, especially my last one against Temple. So it, it meant a lot to me. Team effort. I was, when I was open, Matt, give me the ball. We was on the same page the whole day. Talk about the way the offense really put a lot of yards on the board. More than 400 a day. What was working? I mean, it seemed like everything was working. The running game was going great. We was really paving the way for um, Zwinak and um, Zordich. In the passing game, we was just all on the same page, so everything was just clicking today. Uh, it does give you confidence, you know, to go in there with a two-game winning streak. Uh, you know, it really feels good, you know. So you, you don't want to go in there in the Big Ten schedule with uh, coming off a loss. So the, today was a big win for us, and, uh, and we were just going to go out there and, you know, and get ready for that Big Ten schedule.